Okay, this is going to be my video of explaining my 12 vocab words and I have some fun examples and just like visuals. So let's go. Okay, we're at my sink now and my first definition is wave. A wave is a transfer of energy from place to place. So you can kind of see like little waves forming and it's basically just like an energy. It's just a disturbance of energy transferring. My next definition is energy, and energy is the ability to do work or cause a change. And you'll see my example up there and right there. So, ready? There, and as you can see, it caused a change. Okay, my next example is medium, and a medium is a material which waves transfer through. And then three examples are gas, which is the air, liquid, which I have some water in a cup that you can't really see without me dumping everywhere. It's also in this great cone colored cup. And then a solid such as a rope. And my rope here is a charger. So, and then waves that require a medium are called mechanical waves. The next the two definitions I have are crest and trough. The crest is the high point of a transfer, transverse wave and the trough is a low point. So if you have a rope, and you're going like that. I'll try to enter a slow-mo. I'll insert another video or another photo so it's easier to see, but that's one way that you can see it at home. The next two definitions are refraction and compression. Refraction is when a coil spreads out and compression is when a coil is close together. So an uh, um, a example of a coil is a, is a slinky. I sadly do not have a slinky at home. So we're gonna attempt to so if you notice slinky looks like it's always close together like this so then when you spread it apart that is called refraction and when it's together like normal it's called compression the next two definitions are amplitude and wavelength the amplitude is the maximum distance the medium vibrates from one place from or position and then a wavelength is the distance that transfers energy from place to place and I drew this out because I thought it'd be way easier to understand. So, let me this is the amplitude, and then this is the wavelength. Okay, the next definition is reflection, which is the bouncing back of an object or a wave when it hits the surface through which it cannot pass. So, we have my trusty mirror back there that we're going to come and see our reflection. Yoo-hoo! Here is an example of reflection. Small reflection, then your reflection. Um, a small little definition you can know is hertz, which is the unit of measurement for frequency. I hope you enjoyed my 12 definitions and that all of them stick with you now that you can have a example in your mind now.